Today I thought I would cover a short movie mode a little bit. This is something that I <laughs> I haven't I haven't got the the inspiration for it, but then I haven't tried really. So I did want to uh, walk through the steps and and how to use it and some of the different options and give you a, a couple of quick short movie takes to demonstrate it and then hopefully your creative juices will take over and, and uh, you will find some things to do with it. Let's start by rotating the mode selector. To short movie show. You've got most of the normal indicators in your frame, your video setting, autofocus, no flash. There's your short movie icon touch exposure information and your exposure compensation. You don't have many things that you are in control of, but you can adjust the over and under exposure compensation. And by pressing the flower, you can select macro shooting if you desire. Um, you can down the uh, exposure if we like. Up here you can see we have macro selected. Most importantly this is your clip counter. Zero of six. We have it set for six clips and, and we've, we've taken zero clips so far. You take a clip by pressing the video button. Let's start by walking through the, the menu. So we'll press the menu button. And as you see, you have number of shots, special effects, background music, and end recording is, is not available right now because we're not recording. Number of shots, you can select five seconds times six clips, three seconds times 10 clips, two seconds times 15 clips. I recommend for your first few projects, you, the six clips, it's easier to <laughs> do six clips and then work with that uh, than, to, than to do 10 clips. Special effects. You have a mirror effect. Toy camera effect 2. Toy camera effect 1. Cross process you have a few different colors that you can select from. Pop Selective color. Now this is where you can choose a, a color that you want to showcase. The rest would be in black and white. So here we could we can select blue and that will show up and everything else will be black and white. High contrast, monochrome, sepia and soft uh, background music you have four tracks that you can choose from you can press play get a little preview of of what that music is can't really hear it right now so let's 
let's make a short movie and we're at zero out of six clips so we'll take the first clip by pressing the record button and it's counting down to one zero seconds and we'll change the uh, the element just so that we can see that we have a different clip going Now, I guess the way this thing works is these clips are temporarily stored in the camera's internal memory. They're not on the SD card yet. Once we get all six clips, zero out of six, so we've, we've completed that series, now it will compile those six clips we just took into a single mp4 if we hit the review button we can play it back and you can see the, the different clips Now, if, if you interrupt the process by uh, taking a picture or switching to normal video mode or changing options in the menu while you are, are you know, between clips, I can't guarantee that that will work. I have not had good luck doing that. My experience is that sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. The process gets messed up. So I don't recommend that. I, I do recommend uh, experimenting, playing with it, trying different things. I wouldn't try it when you are actually building a project. I've only made Less than 10 attempts, I think, at making short movie videos. Of those attempts, barely half of them did the, the camera carry to completion and give me a, an MP4 file. I was trying various uh, different things to, to interrupt the process to see what happens. And, and what happens is it doesn't work. It just doesn't work if you press that stop recording option on the menu. I don't think that that's going to give you anything. It, it may stop the process, but it's not going to give you a, a file. A few pieces of advice, and, and like I say, I've, I've only made a few attempts, so these aren't uh, well studied things, but and I know it's only 30 seconds of video but plan your project shoot carefully there's there's no option in the camera to go back and fix problems complete the project if you interrupt it and switch modes switch options take a still you may lose everything that you did and one of the times I did that I stopped to take a photo and it switched my camera duration. So you'll get surprising results or no results at all. So finish a project and then move on to whatever else you want to do. I think the, the short movie format has possibilities. One of, of my attempts I think showed possibilities. So good luck with that. I encourage you to experiment with it but not not on a project that you care about. Experiment with it and try different things but when you are doing a project, don't interrupt it, don't try to change things up, at least not until you've done some serious experimentation and are confident. I think that's it. Happy shooting!
See, memory contains no images.